Well, hello, Suzuki maintenance freaks. Captain Dave in the workshop today. You want to see something? This is something. Take a look at my engine cover. Woo, look at that. You could shave your ash cheeks in that. You know why? Because I keep a cover on it. You know what that's called, folks? That shiny, like brand spanking new. That's called resale value, folks. Granted, my engine isn't that old. No, that's just the, the spray. The spray uh, Teflon spray I put on it and then of course you know this pollen shit is getting to be so ridiculous okay you want to see where the pollen comes from look at this okay there's my carport and then I have the screening over my engine and see these things up in there they're all over the ground look at this all over we call them right around here on my street we call them squiggles they're little squiggly things let's see I'll show you here they are and I mean I just touch them and they smoke they just smoke with pollen which is the reason why probably I got such an ungodly nose here. All right, well, the bat phone's ringing, hold on. All right, sorry about that, but when the bat phone rings at Captain Dave Sport Fishing and it starts flashing red, we gotta answer it. It just turned out it was a buddy of mine who's been in Arizona and he wanted to know what the fishing story sorta of has been while he's been gone, but, the reason I am bringing y'all into the shop today is to show you something. Well, I wanted to check my oil, number one, my oil level and everything's just fine. And I was talking to Orowalk. If you don't know who Orowalk is, that's Dr. Gary. He's an outboard mechanic and he comments in the comments below and he's a big time channel supporter by you know helping out and sending stuff here to the fish camp for you know reviews and testing and stuff so say hello to or walk down in the comments what i did is i asked him don't you ever have a problem checking your oil on a suzuki and what i mean by that is when you pull your dipstick you ever notice it comes up on a four stroke here like this? It comes up and it's just covered in, in oil. And I'll show you. Here's my dip stick and I pull it out. Okay. And you may not be able to see it, but it's oil all. It's got oil all the way up here. And there's, there's the mark right there. And it's got oil all the way up here. Well, Dr. Gary said, well, they're all kind of like that, that they get oil all over them. Where's my oil rag? So what I've always noticed to get the right, the right level is you don't need to do anything fancy. You got to do it quick. It's kind of like in and out. So... Here's how I end up having to do it is like this. I go, go in and go bump, bump. And it's still a little goofy. I mean, I'm not having no issues or anything, but it's still all, it's all over, all over the whole dipstick. So. 
All right. Now it's where it should be at the top mark. But I asked him about that because he's my go-to crew chief kind of guy. He said, ah, they all do it. The next thing I wanted to show you is that barrel. Never, ever do I go fishing in the St. John's River. Ever without coming home and running my engine out in that barrel with fresh water. And it has, now I've got like 230 hours or something on that, on this. This engine's birthday will be May 8th. So it's coming around to a year. Really haven't put that many hours on the engine this year because I practice anchor and fish less running around that's like a it's like a practice anchor and fish versus run around and sometimes fish so i wanted to show you something i'm going to pull out the old flashlight turn it on and yes i know my engine doesn't have that many hours but i still want to show you that by running it out in the barrel I just pulled this anode right here, the second one. And I want to show you what it looks like in there. Okay. Can you see how absolutely spotless clean it is in there? Absolutely spotless clean. And you know why? That barrel. Now, here's the anode. There's the anode. And it's got plenty of gunk on it. But it's just, just powdery salt. I'm not seeing no mud. See, I've pulled these out before, and it had been salt covered in mud. Back before, I did the barrel. See, what I'm trying to tell you is, these flushing, this flush right here, and then there's another one on the front. Never, ever use those. Do not ever use those as your primary source. Maybe if you're in a beautiful lake somewhere. But if you're in Jacksonville, Florida, you won't catch me dead using those. And I got plenty of reasons why. Uh, stopped up fuel cooler, engine full of mud. I mean, hey, I'm telling you because I've been there, done that, and got the t-shirt, okay? So this really isn't bad at all. I don't see any mud. I suspect to see salt. That's all I suspect to see. But... It's no different than the anode on the back of my boat, right? Gets all white. The anodes down on the down here, they get all white. This anode gets all white. But you don't want that mud. The St. John's River is so slap full of dirt and tannin. And I mean, all you got to do is go fishing and look in the water and you can see the particulates going by. I mean, I'm so, I am so particular that I cleaned these, these vents all here were all yellow with pollen. Here's my cover. I use this splash cover. It has vents. 
people see that I have a cover on here and they're like, oh my God, how does that work? Well, it's got vents, venting, right? These vents on the inside and the outside were covered in the pollen. So I'm letting, I'm letting this dry because I sprayed it and got rid of all that pollen. Because where do you think that pollen's going? If I did an oil analysis right now, which I've done before, and that video, no one gave absolutely two shits about, and I can't believe it. Because whoever goes and gets an oil analysis on their outboard, I did, I did, just to see, 100 hours, what was the oil, and that was on my old Suzuki, not even on this one, okay? So I did an oil analysis, and I was very su uh, surprised. The moisture level was very, very low in the oil, and that was a good thing. But I mean, if they could probably test for pollen in the oil right now, they'd probably get it because what's, I mean, it's the oil is in the air and it's running inside your engine and you're sucking in pollen. I mean, even on the river, I'm sure you got pollen. So it's all just stuff to think about. That's all this is. So I'm going to clean this one up. I'm not going to pull it out. I'm not going to pull them all out, but I'm happy to say that running in the barrel and or a walk i'm sure will agree with me there's probably not a better way now the reason that i do that you could run it on the muffs if you've got anything but, or a 250 or a 300 suzuki because i've mentioned it before here's the water intakes but then I got these giant intakes down here in this pointy nose cone of the gear case. And if you put the muffs on, you've got to cover these in tape, they say. Well, I'm not putting tape down there and expecting it to be perfect. I mean, I'm on a well here. So if, if I just get a skip in water pressure, you know, it's going to send off this thing. Why not just fill up the barrel? But one thing I have noticed on this, this is a uh, 2020 Suzuki 250 that I guess they're really counting on a lot of water to come up in here from here because the holes in here are much, much smaller than on my old engine which was, I believe, a 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, I think my old engine was a 2015, 16, and it had much more holes here. But I think they're really counting on a lot of water to come up this way like that. So I'm not putting tape over it and then the ear muff, then the muffs and turning on the water. So, I just use a barrel, you know, and I can actually let the barrel temperature of the water kind of come up a little bit. I mean, you know, not scalding, but when you stick your hand in it, it can be a little bath waterish. You know, you can just stop adding the water to it. And I believe even some of that warmer water helps flush the salt out. I think the warmer water actually kind of helps. I don't let it get scalding or nothing, but I get it, a, you know, where it's a little warmer than normal. The thermostats and all that stuff will regulate it. I have not pulled the thermostats in this boat yet, or this engine, and I don't believe I have to. So that's just a little, I don't know what you call it, Suzuki maintenance freak uh, discussion, that's all. Alrighty, so I'll see you on the next one. I'm just going to clean this up and grease up the O-ring, and I'm going to put it right back in. And I'm happy, happy, happy. Alright, see you on the next one.